Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different You must be made for me Patience is never thin In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Royal Family. It is me, Mystic Beauty. I'm here with another um, channel love message for you guys. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you guys are returning, welcome back, okay? It is always a pleasure to have you guys here. So before we get started, you guys, I posted some new, um, some restocks on my on my shop, the mystic shop online.com, you guys, I have ritual candles, money count, money candles, protection candles, love candles. Like you, if you, whatever you guys are trying to do, I'm also in the process of, um, preparing some clearing baths for you guys. So if you need to, if you're on a heavy, heavy spiritual warfare and you need to um, pull some energy off of you guys, I'm putting together a salt bath for that. Okay. Um, also my money oils, never broke again, money oil is also available on the website as well. Make sure you check out the hundreds of positive reviews on my website. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this energy. I want to welcome in the Holy Spirit and see my sacred space, my divine ancestors who are of the pure white light, who have my best interest at heart, my divine guardians and angels to shield me, cover me and protect me and my divine collective at this time. Okay. All right. I dream of a life. I dream of our life together. I wasn't completely honest and I regret that. Okay, so somebody is living in a fantasy land right now, y'all. This person sit up and daydream and fantasize about what life would be with you guys. Like if y'all were together, if y'all live together, right? Waking up next to you every day, seeing your face every day. Somebody just like daydream about that. This person was not completely honest, though. They held some things back. They kept some secrets from you guys. Um, there will there will only ever be one you, and I'm so grateful for you. This person is also extremely grateful for meeting you. Like, you were definitely an experience to this person. I just feel like you were an experience that they were not ready for at the time. You know, it's like that sometimes. You know, you pray for a, a something deep and powerful. You pray for a meaningful soul connection and you get it and you know you may or may not be ready for that and sometimes when we're not ready for what we pray for it's like we'll take advantage of it or we'll mishandle it or we'll misuse it right so i get it that this person prayed for you guys they prayed and asked god to send them somebody like you um they received that like god granted this person's wish and this person took advantage of it like they mishandled it because they wasn't ready they were not equipped with um they thought they were ready, but they wasn't. And I think God just wanted to show this person like, hey, um, be mindful what you ask for. And also you're not ready for it. OK, sometimes God will give you something to show you that you're not ready for it so that you can see what sh so that you guys could see what you need to do to get ready for it. OK, Um this depth of love is new to me. Yeah, it's new. You know, someone like you is you you were definitely an experience to this person and they just was not prepared, all right? You are the only one who can make me feel this way. Yeah, this <clears throat> This isn't Wait a minute, y'all. <clears throat> This isn't someone who normally expresses deep feelings or even have deep feelings for people. Like, they never let themselves go that deep at all with anybody. But, you know, since you are a rare experience, since you guys help this person tap into a divine cosmic type of love, um, you just kind of take this person to a space emotionally that they're just not used to. You're the only one um, who has ever made this person dive deeper. All right. You've, you're the only person who's ever made this person. I'm, I'm getting like cry. This person could have cried over you guys. They could have cried over losing this connection. You know, um, nobody's ever put this person in this space. <laughs> I'm getting like since their first love, since the first time that they were in love with somebody, but this is the first time that they were in love. They've loved other people before. 
but this is the first time that this person has ever experienced true love right our love is timeless so you know it never ends no matter like how much time goes by with you and this person being in separation, silence, not communicating, like it's timeless, a timeless love. If this is a love that's never going to die. It's never going to get old. All right. I feel like you will be better off without me. See, and this is the thing. I'm going to kind of get into like, you know, um, what happened because this person feel like for them to feel like you'll be better off without them. Okay. Like <laughs> spirit what happened what happened why clarify this energy here why did this person feel like the collective would be better off without them Ooh. could be a karmic involved or maybe they were in this karmic energy with you guys at one point so this person they came off as a karmic they wasn't being truthful to you they held back they were a liar all right yeah this person provided instability. They were not stable. They did not prove that they could be like a stable figure in your life. They could have been in and out of your life. Okay. This person had an unhealthy relationship with money, greed, selfish energy here. And this person was re refusing to make a choice between two lifestyles, whether it was you and another person or multiple people. Yeah, there was a path, a, a path that this person was supposed to take. They were supposed to make a choice. And I feel like this person just decided not to. And ever since they have put themselves in this position, ever since they turned their back on you guys, they haven't been able to rest. This is keeping this person up all night, every night, all night long collective. All right. Yeah. They offered you like the bare minimum. They offered you guys the bare minimum, like crumbs when... This person knew that you deserve more. They knew that you guys deserve more. All right. This person could have just been kind of sketchy with their communication at one point with you guys. But it's like I'm getting this regretful energy though. Yeah. This person also know that they know that you know what they're hiding from you. They know that you see right through them with the high priestess energy. All right, and this is bothering them as well. So, like, they have a feeling that you are very clear. <laughs> You're very clear on the deception. All right, you already know what this person did to you behind the scenes. You already know. I'm telling you, there's definitely an empress in, an empress in reverse involved, okay? There's, there's definitely a false twin that this person is dealing with, a false divine feminine, all right? A wannabe, someone who wish... Someone who could have tried to take on your energy collective and they fail miserably because, you know, they can, they cannot duplicate the divine feminine energy. I don't care how you try. All right. This person could have gave a offer to this karmic over here. There was definitely some type of offering that was given. I don't, I'm not really seeing it was something just like really big, but you know, there was definitely some type of forward movement with a false, um, a false feminine energy. All right, let me pull from the, wait a minute. Oh, that's all. Okay. All right, all right. Give me a few more messages from this, from this masculine here, this person. This could be a masculine or a feminine. This person who's in having anxiety, who's losing sleep, you reap what you sow. So, yeah, they went through some karma. Yeah, this is a very tough karmic lesson for this person, but this was something that they had to go through. All right. I wish I, I wish I could have you here in my arms tonight. Yeah. Yeah. They wish, they wish that, you know, you guys could have some intimate time together, spend some personal time together, but karma for putting bad juju on a divine being. So, you know, maybe the person that that was connected to them was into some, like, they had some bad habits. Okay. They could have been into some dark spell work or something like that. Okay, or maybe this person knew that this person did something. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Could have just been like the jealousy that this person was experiencing or going feeling at one point. I wasn't good to you. Now I see that. Yeah, it's like they're realizing that they could have been better to you guys, that you actually deserved a better version of them. Needing time to realize what I did. I feel like, you know, this is why they're so silent. This person is 
is needing time to realize where they messed up at, right? I don't love them. So if they are dealing with a false flame, they don't love this person collective. They do not, all right? See, the karmic compares themselves to you. Even the karmic energy know this. Even their karmic partner know that this person don't love them. Yeah, stalking ass karmic lover. So there is a karmic energy who is definitely stalking Definitely stalking um, you and this person. I'm assuming trying to make sure that this person is not dealing with you guys, not talking to you guys. Like, there's no communication. I really love your style. You can pull off any outfit. So, yeah, this person is just turned on by your beauty and your grace. Hurting you hurt me more. This person only hurt themselves. Romeo and Juliet telling you timeless type of love and energy. Your innocence and your... You are, you're innocent and pure in my eyes. All right, so this person feel like you are innocent. You guys did not deserve what they did to you, what they took you through, how they mishandled you. This person feel like you didn't deserve that. Give me a few more messages. Thank you. Career driven and comfort zone. So yeah, you guys are just really focused on your career right now. Um, getting out of your comfort zone. You know, you're you're not really trying to focus too much on love, even though this person from your past is stuck on you. Yeah, see, you guys are spending a lot of time in solitude. You're not really focused on love right now. Like, you're, you're like, if it come, it come. If it don't, it don't. You know, but this is the energy who's ready to speak up. This is somebody who's ready to, to chase you. Like, I get this person is ready to speak up and chase you guys. Speak some type of truth. Yeah, this is someone who's struggling to let you go. Yeah, it's like <clears throat> this is somebody who could only see things from their perception at one point. And they're sorry for not seeing things from your point of view. Yeah. Okay, so you have a telepathic bond with this person. Do you hear me talking to you? I need you close to me right now. Please respond. So you guys, are you talk more spiritually. So you may text this person. They may not say anything back to you, <clears throat> but they'll communicate with you spiritually. They'll communicate with you guys telepathically. Let me see. Wait a minute, y'all. It came out. This person feel like they can be themselves around you guys. Give me more Holy Spirit. Yeah, but you don't trust them. You feel like this person is untrustworthy. There's also a karmic energy. Somebody external to them don't trust them either. All right, but this person's heart is very heavy though. Like I'm not, no lie. They miss you guys a lot. They wish that you guys were actually physically around this person. This person feel like they kind of need a hug. <laughs> All right, we may not be together right now, but my heart misses you dearly. Yeah, this person's heart is just kind of like really calling out to you guys. All right, it's like I'm getting this energy of them wanting to chase you, but they, they're stopping themselves from doing this. They're refraining from pursuing you yeah because see this person chose a new direction yeah they they were the catalyst of this separation here they chose a new direction they abandoned you they did this to themselves they did this to themselves collective or maybe they forced you guys on a new path all right, maybe you tried to wait for this person, you extended love to them, and they this person went cold. I heard cold turkey, right? Yeah, because they were told that this person was very busy being deceptive. Yeah, and look, a lot of you guys are blocking this person out of your energy, or you have blocked them out of your energy. Yeah, you raise your vibration, you raise your frequency, you've you've went through some type of an ascension, some type of metamorphosis. You've transformed and it's, how, it's, uh, it's really giving you left this person stuck. You left this person stuck collective, all right? And this person is heavy, heavy holding on to you energetically right now, holding on to your energy, holding on to your heart, right? This person feel like, hey, <laughs> you my person, all right? You my soulmate, you know? But I feel like you guys made the choice that was best for yourself at the time. All right, this person wasn't really giving you guys much to work with. <clears throat> so you had to do what you had to do. And this is this is somebody who's they're not pleased with this. This person is not pleased with with you moving forward. They don't like the thought of you dealing with anybody else. They don't like the thought of anybody around you. Anybody else sharing like 
you sharing your energy with anybody else. All right. This person is trying to reinvent themselves collective. Let's give me, give me one more Holy Spirit. They're, they're trying to reinvent themselves. I'm getting so that they can represent themselves to you. So maybe you will accept them back, right? But a lot of you guys, you feel like, I don't know, maybe you'll be settling or maybe they settled with somebody. There was like a, 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 a there's an energy of settling that was blocking a fresh start. So yeah, this person settled for someone they either they went back to somebody or they they had a new beginning with somebody but the energy don't compare to you guys yeah because you're the divine feminine so like the energy don't compare right and whoever the divine feminine energy is here has decided to refocus and just kind of channel their energy on themselves okay like you're focusing on yourself and this person, they, they blocked this fresh start with you guys when they decided to settle for some foolishness with a karmic, all right? <clears throat> okay, so you guys, I'm going to extend this video. Let me kind of like get a pre-shuffle real fast because I want to see, like, you know, let's get a, dive, a deeper dive into this person's psyche, all right? What is really going on with this person? What do they really want to say? What are they keeping themselves from saying? All right. Okay, so how do this person view the collective? This is what's going to be in the extended. All right. How do this person view the collective? All right. Do they, oops, do they love the collective? Like, are they in love with the collective? Is this person in love with the collective? Is this person in love with the divine collective? With their divine partner? Are they going to express this? All right. What's blocking the connection? What's blocking this person from coming towards you guys right now? What has been heavy on their mind and their heart for you guys? What has been heavy on this person's mind and on their heart? All right. What action do this person plan on taking in the near future? All right. And let me get any advice for the Divine Collective. Let me get any advice for the Divine Collective right now, Holy Spirit, from their guardians, from the universe. All right. All right, you guys. So, yeah, I'll see you guys over on the other side on the extended. Click the link in the description box. I'll also pin the link at the top of the comment section. All right. Peace.